shocking photos reveal the overcrowding and harsh daily life inside Manila City Jail created by Philippines President Rodrigo Duterte's drug war. Inmates are crammed together like the sardines they eat every day in their meager meals, taking turns to sleep on a damp, open floor side by side in the boiling hot cell blocks. The jail was built to house 1,000 prisoners but is bursting at the seams with more than 5,080% of new arrivals being drug users swept up in Duterte's zero-tolerance policy. Dormitory blocks are cramped, poorly lit and with hardly any ventilation that makes them stink, even if they are cleaned and scrubbed with the strongest disinfectants. During the day there is not even room to crouch or sit down, forcing inmates to stand for hours on end. Jails don't have enough money to properly feed prisoners, so they get by on tiny rations of rice and fish, often containing rusty nails and cockroaches, forcing them to go hungry or steal other inmates' food. Share this article Share life is a little better for richer prisoners who can buy a condominium that separates them from other inmates by wooden walls and for US $90 a Spartan cot. Those with some, but not much money can buy an apartment shared by two to four people, creating areas that resemble shanty towns or slums. Everyone else fights for space on the floor using rice or flour sacks or even newspapers as bedding. The photos that revealed the appalling conditions were taken during a raid at 4 a.m. on Wednesday searching for contraband and confiscated 10 bags of banned items. They included improvised tutors, bladed weapons, weapons created from utensils, power tools, extension cords, mobile phones, and drug paraphernalia. Thousands of inmates were seen crammed into exercise yards, most shirtless to relieve the stifling heat, waiting while officers wearing face masks and leading sniffer dogs scoured the cells 